Today we're making fudge. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today has been a crazy day because my life got a little messed up with the unexpected guests coming in on Wednesday. Now you're saying to yourself, well, it's Christmas time. Uh, not really? Let me explain. Okay, as you know, and if you follow me on other social media, you will hear me talk about the fact that I film all my videos way, way far in advance. So, what's happening is, for you it's December. For me it's actually the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, and we just found out that my brother, my sister-in-law, and their child are coming in on Wednesday instead of Thursday. Yeah, you can see where that might be a problem. So now we're having to figure out how to do things like food and that sort of stuff, whole meals that we hadn't planned on making. So. Oh, what happened? Well, I have filmed this, the first part of this video without my mic on. Yeah, I did. So I will explain what I'm doing and show you the close-ups of it, even though you notice nothing is in front of me. But it's really simple and you're going to love this fudge. It's really one of those fun things. And it's one of those great times where I get to really tell you what I'm doing. So we're going to start off with a slow cooker that has been sprayed down heavily with some sort of cooking spray. I used a butter cooking spray, but you do need to spray, spray that heavily. The next thing that you're going to do is really easy. You're going to add your ingredients. We have three cups of chocolate chips. Then we have a cup and a half of sweetened condensed milk. Now, if you want to learn how to make your own sweetened condensed milk, hit that eye in the sky. It'll teach you how to make sweetened condensed milk, or you could do what I did because this was such a rush. I went out and bought my own sweetened condensed milk, so that's a 14 ounce can, but it's written down in the descriptions and I'm sure it's popped up right somewhere over here. Uh, then you have one tablespoon of butter. Yes, you can make your own butter. Click that eye in the sky. It'll teach you how to make your own butter. But don't feel that you have to because in this case I know I didn't. Like I said, really, really rushed. So then I put that in my crock pot and then what we're going to do is we're going to cook that for about two hours stirring every 30 minutes. It is that simple to do. So let's get on with it. Our mixture has cooked thoroughly. Now all I have to do is get this into our pan. Once it's in the pan, you just wanna spread it out. I'm using a nine by nine. You could use an eight by eight, it does not matter. And you'll, know, and you'll see that it's really, really thick at this point. Once everything is spread out, we're going to refrigerate this for about, oh, you could go overnight, you could go for four hours, it just depends. We're going to go until this is all firmed up. Our fudge has been refrigerating, or refrigerated, for about two hours. Let me slice into it. All right, let's take a bite. How to explain this flavoring? It is chocolate. It is, uh, it's like a, uh, I mean, it's a candy. It is definitely a candy. This is a candy fudge. It is not oversweet, which is what I was really, really worried about because I tasted it while it was still warm and it was super, super, super sweet. But this is just sweet enough. It has a deep, rich chocolate taste. Now in mine, I did use dark chocolate chocolate chips. You can use whatever kind of chocolate chips that you like, but this was super easy and it didn't take that long and it took like no real attention except for the stirring part of it. That's all it was. Then I put it in the pan and refrigerate it. This can be made so quickly and so easy and it is so good. I'm actually surprised at how good this really is. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home and I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.